We're ahead by one point. There's only a couple of minutes to go. We're playing the side of beat us in last year's grand final. We put a lot of pressure on them. We'd forced the drop out from underneath the sticks. Scott Gale opted for the short kickoff. They needed the ball back, they needed points. He kicks across. I see MG coming on the ball like a mad bull. MG tears on the ball, catches the ball above his head, goes through the line. I just happen to be here. Around I come. MG then gives me the ball. I'm behind then the defensive line. There's only Gary Belcher. Gary's back on the line. I had little to do but put the ball over the line. Put it over here somewhere. Great. Jump a lot higher than I can now. <laughs> As I score the try, I turn around and there he is, the big monster MG with his hands out. I jump in the air, he just comes in, grabs me, nearly hugs me to death. Turn around to go back to halfway for the kickoff. Realise if Greg Alexander don't kick the kick, they can still win the game. So then all of a sudden, get the boys together, gather them together in the middle. I spoke about, if they get the ball back, possibly could score, kick a goal if we lose the game. So I talk about that. I didn't have to bother because Greg kicks it between the posts. He has! That's it! That is definitely it! It's gone! The Panthers will grab it! And I made one of the worst decisions of my life. I hope to have a schooner with every one of you tonight sometime. Thank you. And I still today, sitting in a country pub anywhere and, you know, go in, maybe even a restaurant, any a club, a bit of dinner or something, you're sitting there and you see an old mate come across and he puts it there, a bloke I've never met, never seen before. He said, they'd say beer, we're, we're going to have Simo after the grand final. Well, how can you knock him back? <laughs>